My friend, my friend, we're talking about five notes from the key of G major. One, two, three, five, and then six. G, A, B, D, E, and then it goes back to G. When we play this up the scale, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, that gives us all five of those tones ascending. Yes, we can do them descending, and those help us to do different types of patterns. But what we'd like to talk about today is how to put two of the notes together from the five notes and make harmonies. These harmonies will be pleasing. If we're playing a melody like a G major, maybe let's say to a D, E minor, C, it sounds like wagon wheel, but it's a million tunes. When we play the G major, yes, we can use all these notes to actually solo. We could also use the major scale with the F sharp and the C in there. However, playing pentatonically, maybe doing a little ostinato picking over the top of just some harmonies would be amazing. G major, you can play a D and a B. When we move our finger down to play the A note and play the open D note here, it sounds wonderful. And then we could go back to playing the E and the B which is part of the E minor, but we could also play what we would consider as like our major fourth right here and then switch right back to our one chord. So you don't necessarily have to have the chord of C major, which has a C in it, to be able to play the G major pentatonic. I can guarantee you that when you play an A major, and opposed to an A minor in the key of G, it'll sound weird because we don't have a C sharp in the key of G. So same thing here. If we did that, that would change the mode to something called Lydian. We're not looking for that. So avoid that C in the C sharp like the plague. G, A, B, D, E, G. If we just play around with those, and then we could have a G, and a G, unison, G and A, G and B. Heck, if we have a high G up here and we play a D, that's a great harmony. We could have an E and a G, wonderful harmony. Our high G up here and maybe an open A, sounds a little interesting, it's a major second. And then our G to our E, also part of it, that would be a major sixth. Sounds great. If we play our G up top here and play a B, that sounds great as well. So what I would try to infuse is when you're hearing something playing like this, like a G major, maybe try and have a different fingering. And what you'll find is the notes that are inside one chord, like a G major, when we move to a part of the pentatonic, G, A, feels like a D sus, because it is. And then you can pull back. Using the pentatonic system to express yourself through the chords of G major, A minor, B minor, or you can play it up here, big old bar, and then here, B minor, C major, or just hold that note out, C major, our D major, or Old Faithful, in all your fingerings, however you like. When we play our next chord, <clears throat> after that, we've got the E minor, bar it up, play what looks like the D minor shape. Or, as we said, you could move it here and make it into a minor by the minor third. Looks like our C moves up to a D. That's a D minor, so if we move it up, that's an E minor. And then lastly, our F sharp diminish, or you could just play D7. I'd behoove you to try to play these notes together and have something like... It feels like wagon wheel, sure, but have something like... these notes will work. <laughs>